Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Marilyn with Sweetwater's Cards. I just wanted to come on. Um, I have a couple things I want to show you and a couple things that I got from Allie. Um, um, but I also would like to wish every single one of you a happy, happy new year. Um, I don't know how many of you know uh, in this community what happened with the whole thing of my country or um, Sabrina Kay the country crafter um, I thought she was my friend and um, I'm not going to go into a bunch of details but um, I was really very hurt by uh, her she scammed a bunch of people uh, a lot of people gave money to a cause that never happened, and um, I, I literally feel like somebody has kicked me in the gut and has knocked all the wind out of my sails. This is not the way I wanted to start my new year, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm just really, really hurt, and I wasn't nearly as close to her as many of you have been. And I want to say that I'm so sorry to all of you that were hurt so badly. It was a betrayal. It was lies. And to do so with no conscience whatsoever. And to act like you're everybody's friend. The hardest thing for me was yesterday... I got two cards in the mail. One was a Christmas card and one was a thank you card from Sabrina. And she basically wanted to thank me for all my love and support and standing by her side. When I heard that her house was robbed and all of her kids' Christmas presents were stolen and somebody kicked her dog really badly and injured it, my heart broke for her. And I was praying like crazy that the Lord would provide and that he would comfort her because she looked so hurt and so distraught. And it was all a lie. So I just want to say that I'm really, really sorry to everybody that was impacted and hurt by this thing. I pray that God will open her eyes to see what she's been doing. I choose to forgive her because that's what I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. If I don't forgive her and release her to God, it will just torment me. So, Sabrina, I forgive you. But I no longer trust you. And that would have to be earned back. Having said all that, we're starting a new year. Let's let go of what has happened Let's find the joy in our lives again through crafting, through family, through friends, through our relationships with God if we have one. Let's move forward, press into the new year with all vigor and vim. And I just, I just ask that the Lord would bless all of you, every single one of you. So now that I said all that, I'm going to show you uh, what I received from Allie. And I'll start with, if I can open this up, it doesn't, these bags are so hard to find the opening to. Well, anyways, it's, sorry about the glare. It's this angel die. There's her dress. These are her wings. These are the little stars that cut out so you can layer them on top of the, the embossed stars there. That's her head and her hair. That's her face, her hands, a little bow, her collars. 
I'm not quite sure what those are for yet, but I'll figure it out. Um, I ordered this like two months ago, and it just came yesterday. Um, but I'll have it for next year, and I just think it's absolutely adorable. And once I put it together, I will show you guys. Then I bought these little spacer beads. Because I want to try to get into making char chunky charms or uh, dangles for um, pocket pages or friend mail, whatever. So I got them in the blue and the silver. These are the gold with the white crystals around them. It's kind of hard to tell, but that's what they are. And then these are pink with the silver and I think they're just pretty really pretty so I got those so that's my tiny Aliexpress haul and then I would like to show you uh, a couple projects that I worked on first I'll show you the memory decks card that I made for Miss Judy at my scrapbook loft and this is what it looks like and I used some paper out of a paper pad that I've had for years, and the cover got torn off, so I don't even know which paper pad it was. But I used this paper that had the different colored polka dots, and I cut, I die cut out two of, of the Memory Dex cards in the 110 pound card stock and glued them together. And then I put the polka dot paper on that side, and then I put the polka dot paper on this side. And then I did another layer, but I cut it off here to make a pocket. And then I put, uh, courtesy of Miss Soleil, Enchanted by Craft, she sent this on one of the little Happy Mail, or not Happy Mail, but um, an entry into my contest. So I used this flag, but I had to make it shorter. I put some lace across. I put the blue pom-pom trim around the edges. Um, I put a butterfly there and a butterfly there. And then this little brad with a little bird and then a little bit of bling and then i did this small little flower cluster with this rose and these two little apple blossoms put some leaves behind them and then i glittered it up and this thing is really sturdy really really sturdy and then on the back i put more lace on it put in another little butterfly put one flower with a leaf and some more little bling and then of course my information is on the back so I hope you like that I think it's quite pretty so there's that and then I made this card and I'll show you the die I used I used this die here from surprise creation store and I have it on backwards, but these are little butterflies. And it, it cuts out the edges of the wings, but it doesn't cut out the top and the bottom, so they just poke out to make it 3D. And then I used some more paper out of that paper pad that I had in my stash. Kind of looks like Maggie Holmes a little bit, I think. So I uh, put two layers down out of the paper pad, and then I die cut out the this die here and also the circle die with a different color paper. And that actually came from Soleil. And then what I did was I cut another one of these circles out with the butterflies and I just cut out the butterflies. And then I glued them on top of the butterflies on the first layer and I poked them up so they're 3D. Then I put this pretty uh, circle down. Now I have a butterfly die that goes with it which makes this butterfly, but I've managed to misplace it. I have to find it. So that's the problem. I have almost no magnets and I don't have any sleeves to put them in. So that's my next big um, purchase. Hopefully I can do it fairly soon. It's hard to keep up on everything. I cut the butterfly out twice, first in pink and then in blue. I put some gold bling down the middle. I put some rose gold metallic ink over the top of the butterfly and the very bottom. And then on the sides, I did a, a blue metallic. And then out of my Tim Holtz ideology pad, I took out one that says miracles happen when you believe. And, um, and then the inside looks like this. 
And I put another little butterfly in there. And I haven't stamped anything. I kind of like to leave, if I'm making cards ahead of time, I kind of like to leave them blank. Um, if there's something that could be used for many things. This could be used for birthdays. This could be used for somebody recovering from a surgery. This All kinds of things it could be used for. Just a friend card, you know, just to say I'm thinking about you. And then I'll just stamp it when I, you know, go to use the card. So that's the card that I made. <clears throat> so that's my little share for you today. Um, I wish you all the very best in this upcoming year. I pray that prosperity comes your way financially, in your body, physically, in your emotions, um, in your family. I, I just pray that you have a wonderful year. And who knows what we have in store for us. But let's look forward to the new year and go after it like a bull in a china shop. So guys, if you like what you see, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I do appreciate it. I love the support. And, you know, we can't make it without your support. None of us can. And you hit that bell for notifications when I bring new things up. And I will see you guys later. I sure love each and every one of you. And, um, yeah, God bless, guys. Bye-bye.